Hey folks, we're in Lake Jackson at Sea Center, Texas, which is one of three saltwater hatchery facilities along the coast of Texas that's operated by Texas Parks and Wildlife Department. So here in the Flounder Building, we have some Southern Flounder larvae we're going to check out. CCA Texas donated $325,000 to start the design, construction, and some of the equipment purchases that are being used in this building. And as you can see, the, the building is full of pipes and tanks and water, and we're gonna go check out these flounder larvae and show you what's going on. So here are the flounder larvae inside of a tank. They're in the upper portions of the water column near the surface, and they're striking. You can see them moving forward really quickly. Well, they're swimming around and they're striking at the rotifers. The rotifers are the first food item that the hatchery biologists and technicians feed to the flounder. Very small, almost microscopic zooplankton that can fit inside the flounder's mouth. So the flounder, see those little rotifers swimming around, and then they'll try to consume them. So I mentioned that the flounder larvae feed on rotifers. Rotifers is that first food item that the flounder larvae will eat and they are in, in these tanks and you may want wondering why is the water so green well that is the algae the microscopic algae that is fed to the rotifers rotifers swim in the tanks consume the algae particles and then in turn the flounder will eat the rotifers that are full of this nutritious algae so all of the small dots almost yellowish looking items floating in the water column you see there are the rotifers. And this is just one of the rooms inside the Flounder building at Sea Center, Texas. Okay, we're inside the hatchery building now and I'm here alongside my friend Jennifer Butler and she is going to briefly tell us what she's looking at here. I'm looking at the heart rate and I'm looking for circulation through the body. Checking their guts to make sure they're eating and just checking their overall health. And how old are these fish? These are eight days after hatching. So they have fully developed fins and eyes and mouth parts. 